Hey, what's good, everyone? Look, Ice Man here. Looking like a control panel here for the dimmer fire. We got a rotation fault there. A little dry red light. So we got to take a look at that. The rotation fault means the drum inside, the desk kit wheel is not spinning or not spinning fast enough to reset the timer. There's a little switch that it clips as it rotates around. I think once every eight minutes, if it doesn't reset a timer, then the system shuts down. So the hot air blowing through it doesn't damage the wheel. So we got to take a look at that. So let me go ahead and grab my tools, some gloves, and the keys. We'll open that bad boy up and take a look at it. Let me uh, go ahead and turn this thing off too while we're looking at it. So safety first, right? We'll also hit the main breaker too before we open it up. So let's go ahead and head outside. All right, here you go. Here's the fire right here. I got the gate open. We're gonna get in the set over here as well as open a side panel. Get this goes in upside down. Hit that. Hit that one down here too. So we have to look inside this one right here. We'll actually take both these things off. So let me go ahead and get the tools out there. All right, like I said, I get the side open here. Let me get my nut drivers out. Figure out which is the best one. The one that fits it is usually the best one. That's not good. I'd say that's a seal probably. Oh, that's, that's on there pretty tight. Wow, there's a lot of tension on there. So that's that's not good. That means something else is going wrong here. Sprocket looks decent. I mean, there's definitely teeth on the sprocket. But seeing this in there, that's actually a cause for concern. You can see how that's rippled up. That's been uh, rolled over. I'd say that's the seal. And we definitely need a new wheel. We're way overdue. We're supposed to, I think, get like 80,000 hours or something out of this wheel. And you can tell how charred it is right there. So there's seals. Uh, I believe that's a seal right there. There's also sector seals. You can see one right here as well as coming across there. Uh, yeah, so this is actually maybe something I can't fix. So uh, actually, let's go ahead and. Uh, Check something else here too. We're have this much open. It's every so often that the little switch goes back. So I don't know if this one just gone back. Or if it's actually being triggered. Oh, okay, yeah, that's that's also part of our problem, I think. I think maybe that's even a bigger problem. Because I think there's supposed to be there's supposed to be a wheel on this. So the wheel's broken off. Okay, that's that's our problem. Alright. But there's a wheel, a bigger wheel that goes on that, and that's just you can tell it's broken right there. So alright, let me uh, get the other side open up here. I gotta make a call to the refrigeration guide and get it order another one of these things ASAP. What we could do now is we could keep it up like this, and that will keep this keep it going because it, it's kind of tricking the system into the timers always reset. But here we go. These sector seal, not sector seals, but this is where the seals coming from. So we definitely have to do some work on this. We get we need a new wheel. I probably should spray a little lube on this chain too. That could hurt a little chain lube. All right, let me um, let me uh, wrap this thing up here. I'm not sure if I could add too much more to this. And actually, I think uh, I'll wait until I see. I'll check back here in a minute, I guess, after I make a phone call, see if I have another one of these switches. But for now, since the rink is a little foggy, I'm just gonna rig it so it's running like this. I'm gonna open up the other side real quick to see if I can find the little ball, but the little wheel, but it's probably broken off. So I think the best bet here is to, to trick it for now. It's make sure it's it's moving have everyone check it every couple hours make sure it's rotating then order a new part and replace it when it gets here so all right check back here in a minute i want to make sure it doesn't slip off so i prefer this type of knot right here i'm not sure if i'm getting that in camera then i'm gonna slip it through here like this and that would probably be good enough just like that to be honest but there you go so we're gonna keep it up like this. 
Okay, let me go ahead and get these panels on here. All right, here we go. It's going to put this panel on here. And we're going to keep this thing up so it's triggered, just like that. Just ever so slightly. Put this in here. in here all right it's going to turn on and we'll monitor the situation see if it comes back on all right let's kick this back on there and we'll wait about 10 15 minutes kind of monitor it see how it goes if the light doesn't come back on we're good to go at least for in the meantime i'm going to give the refrigeration guy a call see where we can get that part it's probably something that i probably can replace so but I still want to call him just to clear it because, you know, he's our guy and we got that kind of relationship. So let me uh, give him a call, get that part ordered and get it in here and fix it. I don't know if I can order just the arm and the wheel or to have to get the whole thing. Either way, we'll get it fixed up and we'll be good to go. I'm not sure if I add too much more of this at this point, to be honest, actually. So we'll end it here. Go ahead and throw some questions or comments down there. If you guys have a decent demon fire or if you guys have the old mechanical ones, how it's going, how they're doing, what kind of issues you got with it. So that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks for watching. As always, hope you learned something. And like the local last man says, stay cool.